Phil, an apology? Let's do it. Let's yeah, do it, Phil. Okay, I need to make an apology because I said <laughs> that Greg Pert was ex California Highway Patrolman. Uh. And really, he's retired. retired. He chose to leave. He was not asked to leave. <laughs> I just want to make that very clear on the record. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad we could clear that up. Yeah. Uh, let's let's get him back now, Greg. Was there a point during this ride <clears throat> where, where you thought, yeah, a you were going to either kill him or you thought, well, that's it. We've just killed him. We've just killed him in the Pyrenees or something. We hadn't left, and I already thought that. <laughs> really? I'm not kidding. Because <laughs> this was this was an incredible feat. I mean, what was that 1920s bike? Is that what you said? Yeah. So we we retraced the 1928 Tour de France every mile, every road, went through every single town, 150 miles a day average. And a few years ago, I decided to ride across America. And I remember the first time I spoke to Greg, and I and I said, "Hi, Greg. I hear you're amazing riding a motorbike. You were in, work in the Tour of California as a moto, and you've worked in the New York Marathon." Um, and what did you say, Greg, when I said to you, I want to ride across, across America? So let me get this right, Phil. You want me to hold the shot from L.A. to New York? With a little bit of eating and sleeping in between, <laughs> is what he said. And so we became fast friends. So then I called him up and I said, hey, Greg, I got this great idea. We're going to retrace the 1928 Tour de France. It's, 100, it's 50 miles longer than we did because when we rode across America, we did 100 miles a day. This is 150 miles a day. We're going to be going through France. We're going to be in a foreign land. And, and he goes, and you want me to hold the shot all the way <laughs> from Paris, all the way around France and back to Paris in 26 days? And I went, yeah. And I said, do you win? He went, what'd you say? I said, within three seconds, yes. Yeah, within I, three I, seconds. I don't blame you. I would have so, done the whole thing. I would the whole thing. Let's go back. Oh, by the way, the, the film is uh, airing tonight. Yes, one, one time only. One time only uh, on the big screen. And, and that's really the way to see it because we, 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 we put a lot of work into making sure that the film was going to look absolutely spectacular. So there's the first time aerials of the Pyrenees and the Alps in 4K. Nobody, you know, I was going to buy the footage, but the footage didn't exist. So we had to actually go back and shoot. That's and gotta shoot. Be incredible. Yeah. That's got to be incredible. Did you leave your phone on? That's your I phone. I would Did never you know that? do that. That's your Phil. phone, Cody. Yeah, that's a, his phone, right? Yes. I his phone is on. How I unprofessional are you? I would never do that, Phil. <laughs> it's the commissioner. <laughs> He's calling yeah, it's the, the thing. police commissioner's call. Let me let me ask you a couple questions, Phil. Uh, what is the the worst pronunciation of your name that you've heard from a journalist? Uh, I've heard Kogan, Kogyogan. Uh, <laughs> It depends on how drunk the person is. Okay, but, um, okay. I just say, look, think of me as Hulk Hogan. And they go, uh, how do we do that? And I go, well, just imagine I look like Hulk Hogan. They go, well, you don't look anything like Hulk Hogan. I go, okay, well, it's like Hogan sounds like, uh, you know, Kogan sounds like Hogan. Okay. But I've had, and I've, I've been called worse, though. I've been called worse. Now, we were talking earlier. I, I was a big fan of a show on FX. It was called Breakfast Time. Yes. Uh, this is how long ago it was. This is the only video we could find. And it's oh, really? so blurry and so old, Phil. Yeah, but like, like you and I. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So but your gig was, uh, you were a road warrior, right? Yeah, this is me wearing a mermaid suit and mm -hmm. wiki watchy. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, this was all live. And... Um, yeah, I got in there with the mermaid suit. I thought, how hard can it be to like swim with the mermaid right, right. suit? I'm, I'm so good. That's Tom Berger on there, who uh, was the host of the show. And I went around America for four and a half, five years. Oh, this was oh, an yeah. unfortunate and, scene whoa, where this happened. Yeah. I got, I got out of a, uh, <laughs> I, I got out of a, at a, a bath on live television. And uh, let's just say it was very cold water. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yes, for about four and a half, five years, I went around America to every single state in America, doing all kinds of crazy stories. And and who knew it was so hard to like swim with a mermaid suit on? And I just about drowned in the, in the water. Uh, and was yeah. the producer angry? Because like, come on, Phil, we really got a lot of press if you would actually drown. Look, my uh, <laughs> my producer said I'm going to give you a satellite truck, a camera operator, and you're going to have an assistant go do five stories in a different place in America every week. Just make it interesting. So our measure of whether we were interesting is if we made it on Talk Soup. Do you oh, remember that yes, show, Talk yes. Soup? So one week we went five for five. <laughs> and, and, and I hand-fed live sharks. I, I uh, fed uh, sh uh, barracuda with fish in my, my oh. mouth. I did a story on a guy who goes scuba diving with his dog. I did a girl, uh, um, uh, did a story on this woman who was the world free breath diving champion. 
And then there was one other, and I can't remember what you that did. Story one, was. you were spelunking in a cave underwater. Yeah. And I still, have, it's, my head hurts trying to think of the logistics of how you guys did that. Because you were yeah. talking to the guy and you were talking to Tom. Well, back the, in show, the, studio. the show was definitely groundbreaking because it was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. It was like very, like the idea of shooting, you know, being loose like you guys are. 20 years ago, people were very, like, you didn't do that. Uh -huh. You know, you didn't. You didn't talk about the phone ringing. You know, it was like, <laughs> oh, the phone rang. You know, ooh, this is terrible. You know, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on. Good to meet you, sir. Thank you very much for t taking care of him on this big trip. Well, I'm, I'm quite in honestly, town. I'm in town because of Greg. Uh, Greg said, this is my hometown, Phil. Um, it's the least you could it's do. It's the least you could do. <laughs> and then, of course, right out of the gate, I insult him by saying he was ex-California Highway Patrol, and he really is retired. Yeah. He retired. He chose to retire. We really appreciate your hard work because you're weary? Yeah, you're really. Because we need you at CBS, Phil. Yeah, we need yeah. you. You're the only thing keeping this company going. No, let's man. not. Let's not. Come, no, on. come on. Look at you guys keeping it all going. Look at the time. And here. We're done. Yeah. We're done. Are we done? We're done. <laughs> Unless you want to run the camera again. I, I'll certainly get a closing shot. <laughs> did I did I introduce you to my retired <laughs> yeah, uh, California yeah, retired, Highway Retired, not X. Yeah. Retired, not X. I hope to see everybody tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Up on the big screen, yeah. and, and again, we're, we're giving 100% of the box office away to a great cause here in California for the California Highway Patrol Widows and Orphans Fund. So. Awesome. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to Turn meet you. Turn your phone off next time. <laughs> Did you mute his phone? Yeah, you know, I should have picked it up. I, it that's was, what I should have done. Like, Cody's my, on TV. It, it was my agent. It could have been anybody. Yeah. Man.